Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today I've got something that's a little bit different, but it still kind of qualifies as a gizmo, although it is a musical gizmo. And what I have here in front of me is a Fishman uh, sound hole pickup, uh, specifically the Neo D single coil pickup. Now, um, I realize for those of you who don't play guitar, this probably isn't uh, going to be very interesting, but for those of you who do or are just interested in how stuff works, um, bear with me. Basically, uh, the, the story behind buying this was essentially that I want to start playing uh, you know, live shows again. And uh, the only problem with that is, is that my acoustic guitar that I have does not have a, uh, it's not an acoustic electric, so I can't actually take my guitar and plug it into an amp or a PA system or anything like that. So instead of buying a whole new guitar, um, I figured that, you know, I could try a sound hole pickup. I've never actually tried one of these before, so I'm actually really excited to get it in my guitar and see what it sounds like. Uh, but basically, just to give you a little bit of background, what this is, if you're familiar with electric guitars, basically electric guitars guitars have pickups uh, in them and they're magnetic so basically when you strum a string or pick a string or whatever uh, it kind of sends that, that that pickup picks that up and then through the electronics in the guitar are able to you know output that signal into an amp and you get sound um, with an acoustic guitar, generally speaking, if you want to amplify it, you can stick a microphone in front of it or whatever, but this essentially allows you to essentially slot this right into the sound hole of the guitar. So that hole that's in the middle of the um, sort of acoustic guitar, this fits right in there. And basically it's got a big long cable that comes out the back and that cable can then be plugged into a PA system or an amp or whatever. And it functions sort of in the same way. It's basically got a bunch of copper wire in there. Uh, I'm not gonna pretend to to know uh, scientifically how it all works, uh, but basically, yeah, there's a bunch of copper wire in here. Uh, it doesn't need a battery or anything, and it does exactly what it says. It picks up the strings and essentially transmits it as an electrical signal. I'm probably butchering that explanation. I'm probably not explaining it as well as I probably could, but generally speaking, that's what's happening. Now, the Fishman uh, brand is well known uh, for their pickups, and usually they're really, really expensive. And that's what's always sort of put me off buying, um, you know, pickups in the past because I figure for the price that they charge you, I can probably just pick up a, you know, cheap, you know, kind of middle of the road acoustic electric and have another beater guitar that I can, you know, play around with and, you know, bring to bars or whatever. Um, you know, so in the past, I've never really thought that this was uh, particularly cost effective because, again, the Fishman pickups can be really expensive. And I'm talking about a couple hundred bucks. So when I saw this guy, which is the Neo D single coil, it was only about $60. And I thought that that was crazy cheap. And I figured for 60 bucks, I'm happy to just give it a punt and see what happens. Um, so this actually, I bought it from Amazon. And like I said, it cost me about 70 bucks once uh, I had to pay all of the GST and all that sort of stuff bring it into Australia because it did come from uh, the US as opposed to where it came from the UK I think uh, I'm not sure where it came from actually uh, but it wasn't in Australia I had to get it from somewhere else um, but the, the shipping time wasn't too bad. I believe I ordered it in the beginning of April. I got it about, you know, with, well within two weeks. Um, so I wasn't expecting it that quick, and so that was pretty good as far as I'm concerned. So obviously the packaging here, you'll notice that it's a single coil. Like I said, there's two different types of the Neo D pickups that you can get. You can get the single coil, or you can get the humbucker. Basically a humbucker is two single coil um uh, pickups, sorry, <laughs> two single coils basically stacked on top of each other. And they call it a humbucker because essentially when you have a single coil pickup, it can uh, be susceptible to sort of interference or pick up other stuff and it creates that sort of hum. Uh, this is particularly, you know, when you have other electronics around or I think it's like computer monitors or something like that. Actually, I think it says it on the back here. Um, so yeah, it says fluorescent lights, dimmer packs, computer monitors, transformers. So if you're around any of that stuff, a single coil pickup can essentially pick up interference from those things and create a hum. So you can get a humbucker, uh, which it basically, you can tell the difference because it's, it's physically larger, um, of this same sort of brand. Now the humbucker uh, was about double the cost, and um, I... I I didn't want to essentially pay double for something that I've never tried before, so I figured that this one was the way to go. Anyway, I haven't opened it yet, so you guys are essentially um, 
you're going to check it out with me. There's just a little bit of tape, I think, on either side here. And thankfully, it's not one of those annoying blister packs that you need, like, scissors and all that sort of stuff to open. Um, anyway, so the packaging itself is pretty basic. So basically, all you have is just this little insert on the inside. It basically just says, uh, you know, we recommend bronze or phosphor bronze strings. So obviously, this is going to be working with a steel string guitar. You're not going to be using nylon for this. Um, and yeah, it just basically says it's a single coil pickup. So again, the Neo D, uh, that stands for neodymium. I could be pronouncing that wrong, but it's the type of magnet that's essentially in this uh, pickup. And uh, let's see what this little guy is in here. It's probably just some warranty stuff. Yeah, warranty stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, there's no manual or anything, which I think is kind of weird. If you've never used one before, you know, how would you know how to install it? I mean, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory, I think, but, uh, you know, again. So it says, yeah, it's that neodymium magnets. So uh, it's the same sort of rare earth magnets that Fishman uses in their really, really expensive ones. So, uh, but again, obviously this is marketed towards a more budget-oriented crowd. Uh, so I'm not sure what the advantage to the more expensive ones are. I'm sure the quality is a lot better. I'm not sure how. Uh, but basically what you're looking at here is the pickup itself. It's made out of plastic. It's got basically screws here. So what I'm going to do uh, in a second is unscrew this. I'm actually going to install this on my guitar and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Uh, but basically it's just basically a hunk of plastic and basically it's got these little cork things to essentially protect your guitar because you're going to essentially unscrew this, this top bit's going to come off, you're going to slide that into the sound hole of the guitar, and then you're going to screw those down so that it clamps onto the sound hole. And then basically you're going to have this cable that runs out the back. Now this looks like it's pretty uh, long. I'm not sure exactly how long it is because, although I'm sure it does tell me, let's have a look here. Uh, let's see, uh, no, it's basically just saying that it fits sound holes as small as blah, blah, blah. So yeah, so, uh, not sure how long the cable is, or the lead, uh, but it's pretty, pretty long. Uh, let's just say it's pretty, pretty long. So, uh, if you need a longer cable, you can always get an extender or whatever, but, uh, I don't think many people would have an issue with this. I certainly won't because, you know, when I'm playing in a pub or whatever, I like to sit down, so I'm not moving around all that much. Uh, so that's going to do me just fine. Anyway, uh, let's just put this off to the side. I'll go grab my guitar. I'll probably sit it down on the floor for you guys uh, to see, and then we'll install this guy. Anyway, be right back. Okay, so I've got my guitar here, and I've got the pickup. So, like I said before, what you need to do is basically just get yourself a screwdriver. I've just got a Ch El Cheapo from uh, Ikea, I believe. And uh, what you need to do is you need to get a Phillips head and just unscrew those. What that's going to do is remove this screw here. It's going to loosen this up, and you're going to see this little guy essentially come loose. Whoops. Sorry for that. So if I start unscrewing this, you'll notice that the bottom bit here starts to come loose. So if I keep going, 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 I'm essentially, eventually going to be able to pull this screw out. And almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. Okay, there. So pull that screw out, keep it in a safe space, don't lose it. And basically what you're going to do is you are essentially going to fit your uh, pickup in the sound hole there. You're going to slide the bottom bit underneath this sound hole here and then screw it back in. So now um, they recommend that you take your strings off, uh, but I don't particularly like to do that because it's a pain. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to pause it for a sec and see if I can just loosen my strings up enough that I can actually slide this guy underneath it without actually having to take off my strings. I would really prefer not to do that because it's just a bit of a pain. And if you play guitar, you know that it is a pain. So anyway, stick with me. I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I loosened up my strings a little bit, and I was able to basically just slide the pickup right into the sound hole there. So as you can see, you want to get it up as far up as it can go, because essentially your uh, sound hole, if you, if you try to position it too low, I guess you could position it down here, but then your cable really doesn't have anywhere to go. I guess you could do it like that, but um, I probably would position it 
closer to the neck here. Uh, so yeah, I just stick it just like that. And now basically what you're going to do is you're going to thread these guys underneath and you're just going to put the screw through. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we've got the pickup installed. Uh, it's a bit fiddly trying to essentially get those little brackets under there um, with the strings on, but uh, it's doable. So I don't really think you need to remove your strings at all. Maybe loosen them a little bit just so that they're a little bit more pliable so that you can move them around uh, while you get that pickup in there. But basically, uh, all you got to do is thread those screws through and it's nice and secure in there. It's not going anywhere. And then obviously you get your cable here which uh, you know you can use you know tape or whatever to uh, essentially secure it to your guitar while you're performing but anyway uh, that's it so uh, pretty cheap little pickup um, again it's only single coil so you might have some humming uh, but again for the price you can't really be okay guys uh, so I figure I'd just end this video with a little bit of a sample I've got the uh, pickup in my guitar I've got it plugged into a little uh, practice amp that I've got over on the side. I know you guys can't really see it, but it's over here. I promise. Uh, I'm not sure what the sound quality is going to be like for you guys because obviously I'm just sort of recording this with a mic and it's coming through the amp and all that sort of stuff. So it might be muddy, uh, but I'll give you my impressions after you know I play a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to do some chords, uh, maybe just some figure picking type stuff, just sort of uh, just random riffing here, just to see what it sort of sounds like. Anyway, here we go. guys, as you can see, um, I don't know how well that comes across in the video, but it sounds pretty good, I have to admit. There is a tiny bit of humming, but it could just be because my laptop's sitting over here. I don't know if that's sort of um, you know, encroaching on the signal or it's, the, the pickup is picking up on that. Maybe the humbucker would have been a better option for me uh, in that regard, but the humming is fairly minimal. It's basically just like almost like a teeny tiny bit of static that comes through on my little speaker here. Uh, you know, higher volumes, would it become more of an issue? Possibly. Um, but, I mean, for 60, 70 bucks, um, I have to admit that this is exceeding my expectations. Uh, this is a fairly cheap guitar that I use, uh, you know, just to bang around, to, to bring around, so I'm not really too worried about it. Um, obviously, it's just a Yamaha, it's a cheapy. Um, but if I want to start playing live in pubs and clubs and stuff, I don't want to worry about my guitar getting stolen. So, you know, having a $60 add-on to a $200 guitar, um, you know, 
fits my budget and it seems reasonable. So yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. If you're in the market for a sound hole pickup for your acoustic guitar, check out the Fishman Neo D. It's pretty good value for money and it gets here pretty quick considering it's coming from the UK or America or wherever. Uh, I'm in Australia obviously, so um, yeah, really quick. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll be back again next week with another one. And that's it, Gizmo Joe signing off.